Good evening, aviators. This is your captain speaking. Actually, okay, let me stop. I'm not necessarily your captain because I can't uh, <laughs> necessarily figure out how to get this plane to get off the ground. So this is my first, um, well, I, I bought two due to the lunar cell. I was able to get the DC, um, not the DCS, I was able to get the A-10C, um, full fidelity aircraft, of course, A-10C2. And then I decided to get the JF-17, which, of course, isn't the plane that most people would go for because everybody likes, you know, the F-16 or the F-14 or the F-18. But um, I wanted to go with something a little different. Um, so essentially, this is just the uh, Chinese um, version of the F-16. So although everything is in English, so the only goal for today, since this is my first, like, full fidelity aircraft, is to actually get off the ground Start the jet, get off the ground, and get into the sky, um, which is kind of hard. So with this jet in particular, I found out quite a few things. So for one, before you do anything, uh, you want to actually hit up your ground crew and let them know in the configuration panel to, for one, update your INS. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take off the air-to-air um, -air, uh, refueling probe because I'm not going to use that, obviously. And then... This is very important, the inlet cover and ladder. I blew this engine 50 billion times and I had no idea why until I found out that you needed to have the inlet cover um, taken off. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that now, that way you don't have to worry about that and you're gonna go through the rest of the uh, startup process. Sweet. All right, so now that that's off, uh, we go ahead and go through the whole process. First, I'm gonna go ahead and power up the aircraft so i have these some of these uh shortcuts on my whole test so if you don't see me actually like clicking anything it's because of it's it's on my whole test but most of the things you'll see me clicking so uh let's just start it up power get all that on um let's see go ahead and put this in train before i go ahead and put it in which call it turn on comms volumes up i guess i'll turn on a warning Everything always turns off, though, which I find so freaking strange sometimes, but whatever. Um, and I do know there's a reason why it turns off. I'm just not 100% sure yet, but let's go ahead and put that in norm. Get the lights on. Um, let's see. While I'm over here, I'll just get the seat going. Go ahead and start this up. Uncage my throttle so that moves. Hold the ground. Let that go ahead and power up. Let's see. EF. This one EP11. That way we can see those things. Um, what else? What else? Something I'm supposed to do over here. Oh, let's turn on the oxygen. Oxygen's on. Connect the oxygen tube. Um, flip these so that way I can get my alignment going. Um, let's see, there's something else. Oh, canopy, because it's going to get super loud. There you go, that's what I say. Where's my canopy? Okay, canopy's good. Go ahead and lock it. Um, okay, so th this is something interesting you have to do to get your, uh, co actually, no, that's right, because they're already done, so let me go ahead and turn on my, uh, heads up, so yeah, they're already done because I did it earlier, but you have to do, I think a shift K, yeah, shift K, so I could do this, um, so let me go from standby to this. Then I have to do the T hog or T H O G, however you want to say it. Uh, the hog, I mean H D D. I'm sorry, and it's right here on the screen. O two five, so O two five. Get that in. Then this timer resets. We'll let that do its thing. I don't need this on the screen no more, so I'm gonna just X that. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Over here, I'll actually turn on my hydraulics. Oh, well, actually, I'll put it over here. Why not? That way we can see that. All of that stuff looks good to go. Um, in the meantime, we turn off my parking brake because that was a big problem the first time for me. So no parking brake. Fuel pump, all that stuff's good. We don't have any errors, which is great. 
Like, you have no idea how tough that was the first time to figure that out. Because for whatever reason, um, everything, there, there was always a problem. So, it's whatever. I'm glad that that's, like, essentially fixed. Okay, so now our INS is good. So, we can go ahead and turn this to fast. Well, not from fast, but to INS nav. And then now we should be good for navigation. Um, sweet. And I guess I could go ahead and turn. I would turn to my radar. But if I were to, I know it's not going to do it right. And see, that's what I'm talking about, man. Like, when things turn off, I don't know what was on. But there's something that's on that's not supposed to be on. That's all I know. Well, let's go ahead and seal the cockpit back. Let this do its thing. I wonder if I'm going to have to do my INS again. I probably will. Yeah, I got to go back to fast. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Go back to fast and then do this again. Which, what was it? We said it was 025. 025. Let that stand. Oh, wait. I know why. I know why. I know why I closed down. Um, it was because we didn't put in our... So, like, even though this is, uh, the DST is updated, we didn't click in the cartridge, which is something that's so strange. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and start up our engines again. Engine control, of course. Turn on the engines. There we go. Engines are coming on. No, they're not. They turned off. What the hell? Hmm. Let me see. Let's see here. That's good. All right, well, let's just turn off, turn back on. Let's do our DST that we don't have to worry about that. And now let's turn on the engines. Engines are not coming on for whatever reason. Hydraulics low, cabin pressure. Um. Hmm. Just when I thought I had everything going good. Okay, clutch. All right, now let's do this thing. Here we go. Engines on, all that's on. Throttles loose. Okay, turn on it. I'm sorry. Turn it on, Jesus. Okay, great. Engines are coming on. Seal the canopy. Canopy is sealed. Let my engines get all the way on. Let's go ahead and turn on NWS, which stands for, I think it's nose wheel steering or nose wow, which is this one right here, NWS. Pretty sure it's nose wheel steering, I think. I don't know. I'm not a genius. But why does my stuff keep going off? Let's try it again. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. We're getting there. Yes. All right, here we go. Oh, 
All right. Yes, we are moving. Let me get that to exit. Let's go to navigational one. So, God, that took way longer than I would have hoped, but it is what it is. Okay, I guess we're picking up people or whatever that is. That's great. Um, God, these full fidelity aircraft, man. Like, if you don't know how to do something or whatever, you're kind of screwed. Not That's me, man. I don't know what I'm doing yet, of course, so it's going to take some time for me to to learn it, but I like it. I dig it. It's nice. Just figuring out how to turn his aircraft on and getting it going was probably the hardest thing for me. Um, obviously, in a um, FC3 aircraft, it's easier. Everything's just kind of just done, plug and play. You don't have to worry about a lot of things because it's already set. Um, however, once you decide to get into, wow, I think it just went crazy. I scratched my eye. Once you decide to get into a full fidelity and fly it, uh, there's obviously a bunch of buttons that are all clickable, um, but it gives you more control, which is nice. I had to figure out a lot of stuff with this aircraft that I'm still learning. I don't know. Like this whole navigational thing, I have no idea how to use it. I have three MFDs here, and I have no idea how to set anyone to anything. So I'm kind of just going with the flow essentially, uh, until I figure all that out. The first thing was starting the jet, getting it to take off. Now that I got that happening, or at least I'm getting to the runway, hopefully we get into the sky before um, <laughs> anything crazy happens. But, yeah. This is step one down of, of probably like 10, 10 steps. So, we'll see. I don't know how to use or set radios or anything like that, like how to get on like the proper frequency. So that's another thing I'm gonna have to learn. Um, as far as obviously setting up the MFDs to how I would like. So for one would be seeing a map, um, like my location, and then using the radar for BVR. If it's the same thing like TWS or, or anything like that, if it's similar to like the F-15, I think I'll be okay. Once I tweak it a little bit and like just mess around with it, I'll be fine. But think that's really it that's probably the main thing i don't know what a runway is i'm assuming the runway is on that side i hope i don't know if there's a turn coming up or not uh but it has to be you know i could just look on the map what is the map f12 i think that's not it is it f10 it is f10 all right let's see oh yeah 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 Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make take that little cut that's coming up. We're going to take this cut, we're going to turn around, and then we're going to we're going to take off. And that'll be that I will feel like an accomplished pilot for today and then moving forward I can do some some more stuff, man. Again, the reason why I got this aircraft, like I said earlier, is I just didn't want to get the thing that everybody else has. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to play something that was that I just thought was fun that I found fun um, and the JF-17 seemed very simple um, very straightforward for me uh, I do wish or not wish one thing that I do like about obviously the F-16 I think everybody likes is that it's a bubble canopy there's so much vision is ridiculous and this obviously we don't have that or any other aircraft like you don't have that type of um, vision so to speak because you got usually the rest of your damn canopy in a way so that is something I will miss. Is it over here? Yes, it is. All right, let's slow down some. Let's get this turn going. All right, almost there. Once I get this turn, I'm just I'm just gonna punch it. All right, baby, 
the moment we've been waiting for. It's been a minute, but we made it. From the garage to the runway. Here we go. Nice. There we are, baby. We are in the sky. Let's look at what this looks like on which I'm call it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can we do a little barrel roll real quick? E. Nice, nice, nice. That was sick. That was sick. All right. Yeah, man. Getting uh, getting in the sky with this aircraft for the first time. Well, second time technically. I did it last night, but that was a mission. Um, it's nice, man. It's a good feeling, especially once it's a new aircraft, full fidelity, going from F uh, FC three. It feels nice, man. So if any of you guys actually fly the JF seventeen, or got any tips just for any type of full fidelity aircraft let me know man i really do appreciate it we could be in it um doing a great next thing i'm going to learn would be obviously how to use all my front panels in front of me my mfds my radio things like that um, before i even worry about you know fighting or, or anything or whatsoever uh, i gotta learn just the, the the very basics i feel so i'm gonna do that i got my manual of course i printed that out and yeah so with that being said, let's go down some. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of me in the JF-17, my new full fidelity aircraft, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, give me some pointers if you have any. And I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one.